Okay guys, today we're going to be talking about a quick and easy, super simple trick that you can do to any Victorinox or Swiss Army knife to make it instantly more safe and a little bit more user friendly. All it requires is just a little length of coat hanger or paint uh, bale wire, uh, just something like, uh, so some kind of steel or metal wire and a multi-tool, probably some pliers and about 15 minutes. So let's jump into what this little piece of metal does and how it makes your Victorinox not only safer, but more user friendly. Let's jump Hopefully in. Hopefully we don't suffer from too much shadow effect here. I'm gonna try to be as mindful as possible, but essentially what you wanna start out with is something that looks a little bit like this. You know, you're talking about 12 inches of steel, either or metal, either coat hanger material like this, or you know, something like the bale handle on a paint tin or can. And what you're going to want to do is make it look a little something like this. Now, you might say, Why does it look like this? And it makes more sense when you incorporate the Victorinox or Swiss Army knife. So, on basically all Victorinox and Swiss Army knives, except for maybe the more modern ones, they have slip jointed blades. So that means that there's no locking system to hold this blade from coming back in. And uh, that can lead to some not so fun times, maybe a quick trip to the ER and some stitches. So if you're not careful. So what this little piece of metal does basically is you, so basically you take it like this, hook it around the blade and you can either clasp it on this way or I prefer to clasp it on this way. And uh, yeah, it just slides right on there. And you can see, very unobtrusive, and actually I was quite impressed that uh, you can't even feel it when you're holding the... And you can't even feel it when you actually have it on there, but basically what that does now is this blade cannot budge and cannot curl back in, can't fold up on you, and yeah, really, it's pretty strong. So uh, you can see there, it is not going to budge at all, and that's because that piece of metal wraps around the back of the handle and curves back onto the actual handle of the Victorinox. And now that blade is not going to close in on your hand at all. So it's pretty nifty, very simple, easy trick to make your Victorinox basically have a lock. And when you're finished and ready to be done with it, you just basically take it, pop it off the back, slide it out, and you're all finished. And you can go ahead and close the Victorinox. So hopefully you guys... Uh, learn something new with this nifty little trick. Like I said, all you need to do is take a piece of metal wire like this and bend it up to look a little something like that. So that's all you need. And for this part, I just bent it around the handle to kind of form fit it to the uh, handle of the Victorinox. Each one will be a little bit different, but they're all basically the same, depending on, you know, what kind of tools and what exact Victorinox you have. So, super simple. All you gotta do is just wrap it around the blade and just snap it in. And just like that, your Victorinox locks nice and safe. So anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed that video. As always, God bless, and I'm out.